Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. So, the other big question that's out there in the countryside is, how much has the frost hurt the wheat? And we all sort of thought pretty much none, and now the wheat starts to head out, and look at what we have, all these snagged heads, and lots of people sending in pictures. What's going on? What is the matter with that guy? Well, you can really see if you start looking at how curled up the flag leaf is and the top of the leaf sheath. And so what happens in this situation is that it gets caught, it gets snagged. We call these snagged heads, and it can't push through, and so it pushes out the side of the boot. And what's the yield impact of that? Well, those two, probably not very much. This guy, will he fill it all? That's a really good question. Once you start to see something like this guy where there's some purple discoloration, what the purple discoloration tells you is that the photosynthate can't move out of that area, so that tells you the, the conductive tissue is broken. So there is some yield loss here. There's not very much yield loss in a lot of these. Even a guy like this, you'd look at him and think he was really quite bad, and at the end of the day will be virtually zero yield loss. So snagged heads are one thing. The other thing that's out there is, wow, look at the amount of injury we have on the head itself. So the pollination is just wrecked. Well, the fortunate thing is that for most guys, this is just one to two percent of the plants. And what's really intriguing is that a plant like that, we've lost these kernels, but the pollen grains are here. So this head, he's still going to pollinate the bottom part of the of the head, and he still has all the photosynthate for the whole head, so he sets more kernels at each floret that he can pollinate. He makes bigger kernels. So at the end of the day, when you look, you're walking through your field, you're seeing these one to two percent injury. Yeah, you know what? Yield impact, less than a bushel or two per acre. Now be careful, walk the frost prone areas, the black mucks or the high sands where you get a lot of frost because I have been in fields where 50% of the heads look like this and if 50% of the heads are virtually all gone like this one, then you might have to start cutting it for straw and replanting into soybeans. Mm -hmm. 